It's easy to quickly get excited when you think you found your dream home, but it's important to keep a cool head in these situations and consider the pros and cons of the property. That's where our handy buying a house checklist could help. Hey everyone, it's Kim Clutch from Duotax here with another video designed to help you become a smarter property investor. There's no doubt that buying a home is an exciting time. The joy you feel when you finally find the one is unmatchable, but you have to remember that this is a huge financial commitment. So, as much as it would be nice to just make a decision based on what your heart is telling you, it's not going to serve you in the long run. When you're in the market for a house, either as a forever home or as an opportunity for capital growth, there are some pretty important things you need to factor into your decision. It can be a bit overwhelming to go through all the things you have to consider. So we've condensed the most important ones in today's video. They're all equally important when it comes to making that final decision. So make sure to stick around to the end. Before we get started on the list, we want to be clear that this video is for informational purposes only. In no way should you interpret this as financial or tax advice. We always recommend working with a qualified financial advisor or tax agent to give you the best advice for your situation. Okay, let's get straight into it. Number one, can you afford to buy it and fund the ongoing costs? The major factor to consider when buying a house is whether it fits into your budget. If you have obtained home loan pre-approval or conditional approval, you'll have a good idea how much you are able to spend and what your repayments might be. You'll likely have to fund mortgage fees too as part of the settlement process. There are also ongoing expenses to consider. Now this list can get pretty long but here are a few of the things to budget for when buying a house. Council rates, strata titles fees, utility costs, home and contents insurance, and maintenance costs. Number two, take the time to sniff out any issues with the property. Once you've found the house that sparks your interest, you need to make sure it has no nasty hidden surprises. Smell for mold and animal related odors. Knock on the walls to see if they sound hollow. Open the dryer and the dishwasher. You never know what could come crawling out of there. Does the toilet flush properly? Does the heating and air conditioning work? Is the flue functioning above the fireplace? Is the water pressure okay? Do the appliances work? Does the granny flat out back have council approval? Ask lots of questions and don't be afraid to keep asking more. Number three, is the building and roof structurally sound? On a similar note to the previous one, while you can look at a house and get some sense of how structurally sound it may be, it's unlikely you'll be able to judge accurately because there's always a potential for numerous hidden structural defects and flaws. So, you'll need to make sure to get a building and pest inspection done if you're serious about buying. A building and pest inspection can identify various issues in a house, ranging from structural problems to pest and termite activities to areas that will be in need of repair, such as a rotten wood in a staircase or a leak in the wet area or roof. Sometimes a seller will obtain one and provide it on request, otherwise, you can organize one yourself. Number four, find out if there are any planned developments happening nearby. It can be quite disappointing to learn that the quiet street you thought you bought on is now a noisy, busy construction zone. So before you settle on a property, it is important to find out if there are any planned developments on the street itself or in the surrounding areas. You can drive around the neighboring streets and get an idea of what's what. But you should also just check in with the local council if there are any approvals in place or applications in the pipeline. If there are any developments planned in the area, 
you may be able to use this as a negotiating tactic as well. So it's worth considering if it's a deal breaker or not. And number five is the property at risk of flooding. Aussies have had to contend with quite a few natural disasters and extreme weather events over the last few years. From devastating bushfires to the flooding of entire towns. So, it's important to assess whether your property is at risk of such an event. Local councils keep flood maps which can tell you whether the street you want to buy on or the house itself is in an area prone to water flow or flooding. The property's flood risk will also impact how much you are likely to pay in insurance premiums, as well as what you'll be covered for in the event of a flood. So this is a pretty big factor you need to keep in mind. Like I said earlier in the video, this is definitely not an exclusive list and there are actually quite a few more things you need to factor into your search, such as nearby amenities, neighborhood noise levels, and the layout of the property. But from our experience, these are some of the most important considerations. I hope this video was helpful in your efforts to find your dream home. Remember, this is your home. So a little bit of emotion won't harm your decision. You just need to incorporate all the logistical elements too. This way, you'll not only find the home of your dreams, but you'll be making a good investment too. That's it for me. Make sure to share this video with family and friends who are looking for their next house. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more property buying insights. I'm Kim Quach from Geotax. See you next time.